Look, I'm just gonna get straight to it. I just did a show in a town called Plantation, Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you cannot make this up, okay? Take out your phones and Google it, Plantation, Florida. In Plantation, Florida, they actually have a plantation museum where you can go there and learn about slavery. Yeah, for $5, you can go on the back and pick cotton like the slaves, you know? You know, yeah, to get the experience, you know what I'm saying? White lady came over to me and was like, would you like to pick some cotton? I said, who in the hell are you talking to like that? Don't you? Oh, you asked everybody? I'm sorry, I didn't see you ask everybody. I, I apologize. I will pay for that window. I'm sorry, I didn't see you. You can't just roll up on black people talking about picking cotton and don't think it's not gonna be a misunderstanding, you know what I'm saying? Then they had a tour guide. She had a whole bunch of facts about slavery, right? Once again, I'm the only black person there, so every time she give a fact, everybody turn around, look at me, see if it's true, like. <laughs> like I'm supposed to know. I don't know about no slavery. I'm from Buffalo, okay? What the hell, I'm supposed to know something about slavery. I date white women. <laughs> a lot. I'm telling you, man, I get to travel. I've been traveling a lot, and I've been going, I'm trying to learn more things. I'm, let me tell you something, if you ever in Kentucky, in, in, in Covington, uh, Kentucky, do, yeah. Okay, listen, do not go to the aquarium. He will, the aquarium in, is in Newport. It is the most, <laughs> it is the most redneck aquarium you ever want to see in your life. Let me tell you something, the sharks didn't even have teeth. They were just in the water. They just swimming in the water all defeated, just. I saw a shark with a Dale Earnhardt t-shirt on. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> but the coolest thing I ever did was I was in Sydney, Australia, and I went to the zoo. And it was, I thought it was real cool, because you know, I haven't been to the zoo since I was a kid, you know? And but let me tell you something, sometimes when you have an idea, it sounds like something good in your head, but when you actually do it, you know, when you go to the zoo as an adult during kids day, some people might think that's creepy, you know? <laughs> You know, I'm walking through the zoo all happy, like, you know, and parents is grabbing their kids and looking at me all like, You know, like I was a Penn State basketball coach or something, just, you know what I mean? What? What? All right, I'm sorry, like I was a priest, they was moving their kids like, What, that's too soon too? Well, well, I can't do nothing to make you people happy, what can I say, you know? Well, let me tell you something about the zoo, this is the coolest thing in the world. The zoo actually changed my life. The next statement I'm telling you, I was in the zoo and I'm starting to believe in evolution now. I know there's a lot of controversy about that, but let me tell you something. I'm in the zoo and I walk by the cages of the monkeys, right? And me and this monkey had a moment. I'm telling you, it tripped me out. I was in there and I'm looking around, this one monkey looked at me, he said, and I'm like, So I walked a little closer, and then he walked a little closer. And I walked a little closer, and he walked a little closer. And he looked at me and said, who you voting for? I said, man, get the hell out of here. What did you do? He was like, just shouldn't he try to run off real fast? I was like. Before he went in the cave, he said, vote Romney. I said, hell no. <laughs> Tell you something, the coolest thing that I ever did was I went, Right here in our, in our town, I went to the Griffith Observatory. Oh, I thought it was spectacular. Go at night if you ever get a chance. I went there and I'm looking up into the sky and you can see like the planets and like stuff that you like. I was like, wow, and there was this guy next to me. He was just real excited. Like, do you know they found two new planets where there can be life forms. There might be more people in space. And I was like, wow. He's like, wouldn't you want to be the first person on another planet? And I was like, hell no. <laughs> Every movie I've seen when aliens come down here, they're either stealing our natural resources or killing us or eating us. Why would I want to be the first person to get ate? I'm not. And it is scientifically proven anyway that black dudes taste great and I don't want to be the first meal. <laughs> You don't believe me, black dudes taste great? Ask all the white women, go ahead, ask. I wrote that, that's good, that's good, I wrote that. I, I made that up, that's good, but you know. Look at all the, and they, and they actually asking white girls, do they? She's like, in college, yes, they do. I, mean, I tried it once in college, he, he could dunk a basketball.